Okay, for this project, I am using a Lion Brand Heartland, which is a worsted weight of four ply acrylic yarn. But you can use any type of four ply yarn that you have, or any brand. Um, this is easy, real easy to make and easy to adjust size. For the size I made, I used uh, three skeins and they were 251 yards a piece. So you're going to need to make it minus size. I used like all of it too. I didn't really have hardly any left. So if you want to make it my size, you're going to need like 750 yards. But if you want it bigger, you definitely need another skein. And I'm using a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. So I already got my big piece done. So I'm just going to show you on a smaller scale. All I'm doing is working rows of double crochet. So this is real easy. It'd be a good beginner project. Um, I'm just going to show you on a smaller scale, but to make it my size, you want to start with a chain of 40. Okay, I'll just show you smaller. But once you get your chain of 40 made, and if you want to make it wider than that, that's completely up to you. It's just spin that how thick you want the sleeves or the scarf or whatever, so you can adjust it. But once you get your chain of 40 made, you want to go ahead and do a double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. And remember that we never count the one that's on our hook. So count down four, one, two, three, four, and double crochet in the fourth stitch. Like that. And now I'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. Just like this, all the way to the end of the row. Okay, when you make it to the end of the row, remember yours is going to be bigger than mine because I just did a small sample, but you want to chain three and turn, and that counts as a double crochet, that chain three. So now we're going to work one double crochet across again in every stitch, and we're going to start in not this very, very first stitch, but this one right here. Yarn over and double crochet like that, and then it's one double crochet in every stitch across. Just like that. Okay, when you make it to the end of the row, you want to make sure that your last stitch is the top of this of your chain three right here because if you don't get that it's going to be crooked so make sure at the end you're going into the top of the chain for your last stitch like that and then I'll make a nice straight edge and then you chain three oh, and turn and just just repeat what we just did so you just want to go keep doing rows of double crochet and to make it my size I did a total of 120 rows but if you want it to be longer like um, you want the, it to wrap more times around your neck or whatever you can make it as long as you want just to adjust to your liking but for what I did and for the amount of yarn I used I did 120 rows okay I got my 120 rows done and remember you can always do more if you want it to be longer. Now I'm going to just simply fold it in half just like this all the way down long ways and I'm going to sew up the sleeves like you can see I got this one already sewed up so what you want to do is and I'm going to sew it up with my a piece of yarn in my yarn needle but if you want to slip stitch it together or something you can do that too I'm gonna go up 20 rows so I'm gonna start down here and I'm gonna count 20 rows on both pieces so one two. so I'm gonna sew up to here and you could put a stitch marker up here if you want, but I'll just keep track as I as I sew. So I'm gonna start down here. I wanna I wanna try to always make sure that I keep my 
um, rows lined up on each side. That way, whenever you open it up, when it's sewed together, they'll be in line. So I'm just going to go in and grab a stitch on each side. And this is how I'm going to sew it together all the way up to 20 rows. And you can always adjust that 20 rows if um, you want to make it, um, if it feels too tight, you don't have to do 20. You can make it less than that. Just try it on or whatever. But this is how I'm doing it. I'm doing... Making the stitches go over. And I'm trying to sew it up as neatly as I can. And I want to make sure I sew it. I'm actually sewing it wrong side out. But there's not really a wrong side to this. Because you went back and forth. So both sides look the same. But after I get both of my sleeves sewed up like this. I'm going to flip it inside out. So this seam will be on the inside of the arm. So I'm just going to continue sewing it up like this. It's real easy. You want to do both sleeves the same. And I'm just trying to keep, making sure I'm trying to keep these lined up. The rows. So when I open it up, they, they look lined up. As, or as best as you can. I don't think my other side's perfect or anything. but So just like this. All the way up to your 20 rows. Do both sides the same size. If you do a different number than me, just do them equal. And then I will finish mine. And then I'll show you what, what I'm going to do next. Okay, I got it all sewed up here. Up to my 20 rows. This is I quit at the top of my 20th row from, from here down. There's 20 rows on both sides. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip my whole piece right side out on both sleeves. That way it, the seam is not showing. So, And there's mine. Looks pretty good. I kept it pretty lined up. I guess I got off a little bit. but Okay, now basically the hard parts, the big parts over. Now what I'm going to be doing with the rest is just kind of um, going around the edges and cleaning up all the edges with single crochet. So I already did this and I went around the edge of this with the row of single crochet. You can see it looks nice and clean. And I'm going to do the same thing on this sleeve too. And I'm also going to go around the whole piece here. Starting from here and all the way around to the other sleeve, all the way around back with single crochet to make it all cleaned up. Now, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but because it's still going to look good, but I'm just going to, if you watch my videos, you know I always clean up my edges all the time. So, how I'm just going to start in any stitch. And then I'm going to single crochet. And I'm going to go back in. Well, I'm going to start by chaining one, I'm sorry. And go back in and single crochet into the first stitch. And now I'm just going to kind of evenly space out my single crochets. All the way around the whole entire piece. Up through here, this part right here, I'm just going to go single crochet to kind of evenly space them. And I'm just going to continue through this um, the sleeve opening here, or the top of the sleeve opening. I'm just going to continue around. Like this. 
jump over and continue. And I'm going to do this for the whole entire opening piece. And I'm going to do both sleeves too. And again, that's, this isn't something you have to do, but it makes it look a little cleaner. So I'm going to go around the whole open part of it. And when I get back to my starting point, I'm just going to slip stitch and tie off. And then I'm going to do my other sleeve. Just go around it the same way. One, uh, one single crochet in every stitch. Okay, once you get done with all that single crochet going around all the edges, that is it. That's all there is to it. So it's a really simple project, but I think the turnouts, I think it looks really good. It's really neat. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, and I hope you're able to follow along okay. Please don't forget to come check me out on Facebook. I'll put a link to that below in the description box. And you can always check out all my other tutorials, see if you find something else you want to make. And until next time, have a good day.